but we're going to be discussing technology in education and as we've always said there are small things we can do to make sure everyone has a better life but oftentimes we're looking at the big things but now we're talking about technology in education in the smallest ways to reach the communities and Theovision is the one doing this joining me in studio to discuss this is Reverend Theodore Mensa Asari he is the president and founder of Theovision International I've also got Pastor Eric Wusa he's a group leader for the field ministries good morning gentlemen good morning Morning. So let's get to understand what you do and your scope of work. Because when we talk about technology, oftentimes we're looking at computers, the big gadgets. But tell me how you reach the communities through some technological means. Our main target hmm. area is those who cannot read. Okay. How can we reach them right. with all these wonderful contents that readers have access to okay. and so we started with audio mm. Bible we saw that people cannot read the Bible to themselves okay. and so then we started with audio Bibles mm. in different languages right. so Asante, Ghana and so in Ghana here out of the 60 languages that we speak we have been able to do the audio Bible in 43 languages wow. already Wow. And we don't only work here, we also work across Africa. Okay. So in total, we have done 400 African languages, bringing them to audio Bibles, audio Bibles wow. in 400 African languages. So the, the question is, apart from the Bibles, I understand you also you put on syllabus as well on your solar pan, you know, powered and um, devices. Yes. I want you to show viewers what we're talking about so that they can also come on board. Because when I talk, when I see this, it's a small gadget, but you're using it to do so many things right. and, you know, that's very commendable. But I want to find out how are you able to track the progress of people you give these devices to, to make sure that they are using it the way it's supposed to be used and they are benefiting from from it in the audio Bible uh, area mm. we have people trained okay. out there right okay. now we are doing the Bible listening programs wow. in 3,000 villages in Ghana right now 3,000 yes wow. and uh, we have people scattered all over the place north okay. south east and okay. they meet every evening to mm. listen to the Bible in their own mother tongue we mm. have a device for group listening okay. and we have device for individuals mm. and then after the audio bibles we now that this is where the te technology and training comes in mm. we are now running bible school for non-readers okay those who cannot read those who cannot write mm. and so we have all the contents the courses okay. translated into the language of the people mm. And then we have put them in devices like this. This is a solar device. Right. You don't need power to run it. Okay. And you can listen to all the calls. Mm. And together with this device and their mobile phones, okay. we can interact with them. Right. You know, we can interact with them. Mm. And they can run through the course. We have a one-year course for beginners and two-year course for advanced. Right. And uh, it's through mobile phones. And this device. this device. Let me come to you, Pastor Wusa, because you're a group leader for the field ministry, so I'm sure you interact with the people as well. I want to find out in using this device, what have been some of the challenges? And do you think people appreciate what Theovision is doing for them? Yes, um, I have been on the field mm. and I'm still on the field. <laughs> yes, people actually appreciate what mm. Theovision is doing for okay. them because you go to some of these remote villages. Mm and they don't have anything technological. Wow. Probably the only thing they can be proud of is their phones, mm. which sometimes they will stand on the hill somewhere just for reception, right. or they will climb a tree and stretch their phones so they can get reception. Right. But with this, um, in almost every village in Ghana, uh, they have a day they don't go to the farm, right. and then they rest. Mm. So in such cases, they actually sit around okay. and they listen to the device okay. and then they do discussion. Yeah. And when you go back, the joy mm. of they listening to God's word is, is, is amazing. Right. They share with you how their lives have been transformed. transformed. They share with you what they have been hearing, okay. but now they're hearing it directly to mm. themselves. And the joy also is that it's not in any other language, mm. but 
in their own mother tongue. Right. So there are words they even don't know, and the device brings out the word so clear to them. Mm -hmm. We have had instances where they have the Bible put down, the written Bible, and then they have the audio. And as they hearing the audio, they are comparing it to the right. And some people have even learned how to read their local Bible mm. through the audio. Nice. So they are so much happy. Mm. And this is what touches us to even spread it the more. Right. So we are hoping that the 3,000 villages we will spread it the more. And by the end of the year, we'll have more villages come to the grid. Great. I'm happy to hear that a solar you know powered and right. so clearly yes, exactly. even in the remotest areas mm. there's always the sun right. but also i wanted to find out how do you i mean how is it one person gets one device and how do they maintain it yeah uh this device mm. unless maybe um you throw it into fire or okay. water you want to de destroy it. destroy it but it can work two years without any maintenance okay. as well, at all uses uh, the solar like okay. you said mm. and so when they have this each one will have one okay okay, okay. and they listen to the bible in mm. fact there is a group uh, device mm. these 3000 uh, oh. places we have we have this device okay. and this device is very loud uh, about uh, let's say Okay. So clearly that's interesting. So you can... So they all listen to this when they come in the group in form. The group, okay. In the group form. Okay. But the, the school we mm. are running, mm. we use this one okay. and that one, one person to this. Pay one. And together with their phones. Okay. Okay. The phones is very, very important mm. because the the cerebral, the content, it's on this device. Right. But every 10 days, you do a quiz through your phone. Okay. Yes. And then it will tell us how you are doing. Okay. We don't have to be with you. And the course is not uh, bringing people together. Okay. You're on your own. Right. You know, you right. can do it in so the farm. you are. You can do it at right. home. You know, you can just run from your market business <laughs> and then <laughs> do it. You right. know, And it's a one-year course okay. using technology because they, they, their phones mm. we are able to communicate with them right from our office to track to their see progress how they are doing very yeah. well so let me find out for people who are interested in reaching out in using these things because i'm sure if i my grandmother chances upon you know this right. interview today right. she want to know is it free those yeah, I would say yes and no. no okay if you want some you can buy okay i mean if you want some you can okay. buy but those we are working with right. the listening groups and all that those people get yes. it for free free yeah. but anyway let's go on and talk about the you know the successes you've chugged because you've grown yeah. you i mean you started somewhere now you're at, at another place tell me about theo vision and you're celebrating your anniversary so tell us what you've lined up for that we are 30 years this year oh, wow <laughs> and uh tomorrow 17th may mm -hmm. Uh, is when we are kicking start. Okay. We are launching the celebration. Okay. Okay. So this year, from now till next May, mm. will be a lot of activities okay. for Theovision, celebrating the 30 years. Okay. We will visit churches. We will visit villages. Mm. Um, after tomorrow's event, the major event will be 6 December okay. which will bring more people together mm. to actually share testimonies, stories, okay. impacts of what the Lord has done. 30 years <laughs> It's not a small thing. It certainly yeah. isn't a small <laughs> thing. And so, we are proud of you. And yeah. I hope that this reaches many more communities. Right, right. And I pray that the scope, you know, enlarges so yeah. that everyone can benefit from this. Kudos exactly. to you. Let me say thank you to you, Reverend Theodore Mensa Asari. He's president and founder for Theovision International. And also to you, Pastor Eric Usa, group leader in the field ministries. And I'm sure you enjoy this interview and you're inspired by it. Make sure if you have anyone in a community who probably needs to learn the Bible because they can't read or write, do get in touch with Theovision International. I'm sure they are all over. You can Google them. You'll find their numbers. You can call them and get in touch with them and get that device for a friend or family or loved one.